west side. We've been talking all evening about how the weather just doesn't quite feel like Christmas yet, but, <laughs> but we could be getting there soon, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, I guess it has to happen, huh? Right. Kind of blur the camera there to give some <laughs> holiday lights there. You know, it's not completely. We're trying. Focused. We're trying yeah. anything we can. Yeah. Right? Yeah. To it's just uh, it, it is lacking field. something. I think yeah. it's the Arctic air and the lack of snowfall too. In right. fact, uh, our first picture of the evening starts here at Geis at the Indianapolis Sailing Club, and look at that. I mean, it's. It could, it could pass for a, maybe a, a late November afternoon here, 40 degrees. The sun out all day long and so strong has a lot to do with it. The lack of snowfall, we've only had a trace, just a trace reported for the entire month of December. For the season, the last time we had a, an appreciable snowfall, a half inch fell back around, what, the 18th or 19th of November. This was the coldest morning we had in central Indiana in about two weeks. So. Yeah, the holiday lights are strung. The skies have been beautiful overhead. It's affording us the ability to get out and take in the fun and festival feel here at the zoo or maybe at some of the skate rinks. So it's been ideal. And look at the crowds. They're big ones here at the Indianapolis Zoo. It's beautiful there with all the lights. Lawrence Civic Plaza live too. We'll be back. It looks like the skate rink is open. So uh, if you're at Lawrence or perhaps in Noblesville or at Chris Kindle Market, what a day to be out and enjoy this just uh, here, the final day of fall. And it was one of the sunniest days of the year. Didn't quite reach the 100% clear stand status that we had the last time on November the 5th and only among six days this entire year that were deemed completely sunny but our December has done pretty well so you typically find more cloud cover in December lower cloud angle colder temperatures you usually get that low level stratus cloud cover that's been absent and if we are to get sunny days in December typically it's under the weight of an arctic high pressure We've only had, what, four shots of some real Arctic air this season, and they were brief, and they haven't lasted very, very long at all. And really, they've been absent for quite some time. We've got a lot of sunshine still in the forecast for tomorrow, and what will be the official start of winter. It occurs at 10.59 tomorrow morning. That's the exact time when the direct rays of the sun are at their southernmost of the entire year, reaching the direct rays on the Tropic of Capricorn. That is nine hours and 21 minutes of daylight, the shortest day of the year. But we've got sunshine and still more of a above normal temperature feel for tomorrow. The south winds are elevating the numbers this evening. After a low of 23 and a high of 42, we're about four degrees warmer than we were 24 hours ago, sitting at 39. These are not bad numbers at all. No Arctic air here, that's the thing. Now this front will bring down the temperatures here on Wednesday. It's not going to bring down any snow with it. At this point, less than 30% of the nation has snow cover on the ground, and it doesn't look like we'll get to it here anytime soon. So yeah, we're not looking at a uh, white Christmas here. Remember last Christmas Day, uh, when, all, uh, when, when all seemed to be lost and it didn't feel or look like we'd have much snow on Christmas, we did get some snow and a cold day. It only was 15 degrees last Christmas Day. We're going to get another temperature drop here between Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but that will not be Arctic air. All of that stays to the north for now, and that's where the real significant snowmakers are across the upper Midwest. We've got some pleasant weather here the next couple of days, with the exception of that wind shift here on Wednesday that brings just a slight cool down here. The bitterly cold air is still staying bottled up across central Canada, where it's as much as 35 degrees below zero. The jet stream still races in from west to east. So even though we get a little bit of a cool down Wednesday, we're going to warm right back up again on what will be a Christmas Eve day temperature that's likely in the mid to upper 50s, a good 20 degrees above normal, and the warmest for a Christmas Eve here since 1982. Now, it will trend cooler on Christmas Day. We will get some rain with the warm-up as well. So a little bit of a pullback and maybe a more of a December feel here Wednesday into Thursday. But by Friday, Christmas Eve, rain is moving in. It'll be windy and very mild. We'll be dry on Christmas Day and cooler with new rains to arrive Sunday and possibly another warm up into the 50s by Monday. Wow. Okay. Thank you.